standard form or scientific notations. Okay, now this number is in standard form or scientific notations, and let's say we would like to insert these numbers into these calculators. Okay, so let's switch on the calculators. Um, 3.12, 3.12. Okay, now to insert this times 10 to the power of 3, we have two methods. One is use this uh, button here. Another one, um, you should also realize that we have this 10 to the power of x uh, button here, okay? For scientific notation, this one is the right button uh, to be used, okay? I'll explain to you later. Okay, so um, times 10 to the power of 3, okay? Um, equal. And then the answer is 3,120. Yes. So this 3.12 times 10 to the power of 3 is equal to 3,120. That's how we insert uh, a numbers in standard form or scientific notation in uh, this Casio FX 570ES plus calculator. Okay, the times 10 to the power of x button versus the 10 to the power of x button. Now, just now we mentioned that we can insert a scientific notation uh, in the calculators by using this button here, times 10 to the power of x, or the 10 to the power of x button here. The, the correct one should be this one, okay? So let's use this example to see what's the difference between these two, okay? Let's say we would like to perform these calculations 5 times 10 to the power of 5 divided by 5 times 10 to the power of 5, okay? Um, Let's switch on these calculators and let's start with this button first. Huh? Okay, 5 times 10 to the power of 5 divided by 5 times 10 to the power of 5. Okay, and equal. So the answer is 1. Okay, so how about this one? So this one, let's start with uh, 5. Since this one don't have times, huh? so don't have the multiplication, so we need to key in the multiplication at times. Shift. 10 to the power of 5, okay, and then uh, divide by 5 times shift 10 to the power of 5, okay. Now, uh, immediately you should realize that if we would like to use these buttons, then it need more work, okay. So, and let's see what's the answer. Okay, the answer is 1 times 10 to the power of 10. So, what's the difference between these two, uh, okay? Now, for... Uh, these buttons, uh, the calculation is 5 times 10 to the power of 5 divided by 5 times 10 to the power of 5. Okay, so the calculator treat this one as one number and this is the second number. Okay, there are only two numbers here. So this is the first number and this is the second number. Okay, so the, the first number divided by the second number and the answer is 1. Okay, now for this one, it takes... Um, each of this as different number. 5 is one number, 10 to the power of 5 is another number. And this 5 is one number, and this 10 to the power of 5 is another number, okay? In total, there are four numbers here, okay? So the calculator takes the first one, multiply by the second one, the first one, multiply by the second one, and then divided by the third one, divided by 5, and then multiply by the fourth one, okay? So in this case, then the answer is 1 times 10 to the power of so, if you really would like to perform the calculations of uh, scientific notations, then you should use this one, times 10 to the power of x. First, it needs uh, less work, and second, the calculator will treat this as one number instead of seeing it as uh, two different numbers, okay? Well, convert a number in standard form to normal number. Um, let's say we have this uh, number in scientific notation and then we would like to convert it to a normal number. This is easy. Um, so 2.65 times 10 to the power of 3 and then equal. Straight away, your calculators will uh, display the answer in a normal number. So that's how we convert the standard form to a normal number. Uh, how about to convert a normal number to standard form? Let's say we have a big, a very big number and a very small number here, and we would like to write this in standard form. Okay, um, to convert a normal number to standard forms need more work. 
by default, your calculators default all numbers in normal number. If you would like the calculators to displace the answer in standard form, then you need to uh, set to the scientific notations. And to set to the scientific notations, we go to the setup, so shift setup. And you can see that we have this uh, fixed number, scientific notations, and normal number. Okay. Now you can use fixed number or scientific notations to displace the answer in scientific notations. Uh, I will discuss uh, the difference between these trees later in the uh, next video. But now let's uh, choose scientific notations. So seven. And then the calculator asks us how many significant figures that we would like to display for uh, the scientific notations. And for this case, we have three number here. So let's choose a three significant figure. Okay. So now we can insert our number. Now you can see that your calculator changed the icon from max to SCI max eh, to show that you have set this to scientific notations. Okay. And uh, let's key in this number, uh, 265000. Okay. And then tap equal straight away your calculators will give the answer in uh, scientific notation so that's how we convert a normal number to standard form or scientific notations uh, let's try the second one okay so let's key in this uh, okay uh, zero point and then five zero and then seven one uh, okay um equal so this is the answer given in scientific notations. Okay. So to convert a normal number to standard form, we need to uh, change the setups to scientific uh, notations. Okay. Um, operations of standard form. Okay. Let's say we would like to perform these four calculations. So let's switch on the calculators and let's start with the first one. Two. 0.65 times 10 to the power of 3 plus 1.68 times 10 to the power of 2 and then it's, uh, equal. Okay, now since I set it to scientific notation, therefore my answer will be given in scientific notations. Okay, so that's how we perform an operations and let's say we would like to do the second one. I can just go to the histories of the calculations. Okay. And move my cursor right before these additions. Uh, move the cursor a few times. Eh? Okay, move your cursor a few times, then you will reach here. And then delete it. And then so replace it with minus and equal. So this is the answer. And again, if I would like to perform multiplication, so I go back to the history and then so click on this left buttons uh, for a few times and go to this minus sign here, delete it, and then replace it with multiplications and equal. Uh, this is the answer. And the last one, um, move the cursors to this uh, multiplication sign, and then uh, delete it, replace it with divisions and equal. Okay. So that's how we perform an operations of uh, this uh, scientific notations or standard form.